Hey, we're making that case here. Hmm. That case here. So, as we uh, come back, Stubbsy, Nelly, and Garvel are all making their way to the general store slash tavern in this town. For the booze. For the booze! So, you guys make your way over to the tavern. It's a, uh, you know, the general store. It's a fairly, you know, decently sized building for the uh, town you're in. Oh my god. Danny's busy again. Good. It's like it's all wait. Oh. It's okay. He's, 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 he's busy, uh, yeah. He's still talking to someone because he keeps looking at his door. Sorry. There we go. <clears throat> so yes, you make your way to the general store, which legit just has a sign outside that says general store slash beer. <laughs> it's a fairly... Uh, large building in comparison to all the other places around here. Most of the mm -hmm. stores and barber shops and all that kind of stuff are fairly small. Uh, as you make your way in, uh, there are only a couple people uh, besides the store owner slash barman behind the counter. Um, there's a couple of like civilians just kind of milling about as the work day for farmers probably hasn't ended yet. You okay. Guys, you guys enter the bar. They don't work the nine to five. Well, they gotta work in the farms. Farm life was not a nine to five job. Mm. Mm, industrialization. Yeah. So what do you guys want to do? Um, well, it's a, it's a bar, so I guess we're gonna un unleash Garvel. Okay. Yep. And, um, <clears throat> see if he can find anybody interesting for us. Unleash the Garvel within. You think he's gonna bother finding? He's gonna get drunk. You know that, right? I, I know. That's exactly But he'll what find want. somebody interesting. Garvel, mm -hmm. Garvel makes his way over to the bar. Barvel? Sits down. Yeah, Barvel. Has Richard been drinking too? <laughs> no, it's his nickname. It's now Barvel Zane. Okay. Uh, and he uh, orders himself a, uh, a pitcher of rot gut. He turns to you guys and asks if you guys want anything. Um. Hmm. How fun should we make this? <laughs> um. Garvel, I, I'm going to give you 50 guilt, and I want you to go around and find the saddest, loneliest, down on his luck guy here, and buy him a couple of drinks. He snatches the money from you, and he says, yeah, no problem. <laughs> and yeah, he goes back to the bar, and he gets uh, a couple of fairly large containers of... Uh, uh, rye whiskey that's uh, being brewed from this planet and uh, he, he kind of like looks around the bar and uh, <clears throat> he doesn't really see anybody like there's really no one around yet so he just kind of like has the the barman hold on for hold on to him for him um <clears throat> <laughs> Hmm. What are you guys going to do in the meantime before the bar starts filling up? Uh, 
Um, or rather, do you just want to pass the time and twiddle your thumbs in the back of the bar? Nihilus, this one, uh, this place looks a little empty for now. Perhaps now would be a good time to check the church. Um, although I guess you're kind of garbed unusually for that. <laughs> uh, uh, a little bit. Do you possibly want to go over there and then I can stay here and make sure Garvel doesn't get into too much trouble? Um, it would perhaps be the uh, better idea. Okay. Um, I'll make haste. Stubber sprints over to the church, making as much haste as is possible. <clears throat> uh, as you get to the church, you see that there are a few clerics going about outside, tending to the uh, very small but well-kept church garden. Um, the, the large wooden building seems very uh, well-used and welcoming. Uh, small panes of stained glass um, pay homage to the god emperor of mankind and you feel you feel very at home as you walk in there are a few people in the pews and uh, a couple of kind of downtrodden folks uh, hanging out by the uh, where you can assume by the scent of it the <coughs> kitchen of the church is Um, alright. I guess, um, is there any kind of visages, or visages of the, uh, God Emperor? Visages? Yeah, sure. V-I-S-A-G-E-S? -E no. No. No? No. What? No. What? Nothing? No, no. Yeah. This isn't like Catholic Church where there's a giant <laughs> Jesus somewhere. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is kind of a... Oh, uh, God. Um, it's, it's more quaint than that. Um, there are a couple of, you know, kind of symbolic things like the Imperium Skull that kind of stuff, but there aren't any, like, actual, like, paintings of the God Emperor looking all victorious and stuff. It's a bit, it's a bit more down-to-earth and homey. Mm. Well then. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll, I'll go up to the skull and do my rituals. Okay. Bow and stuff. Get down, get a, you get down on a knee and uh, encant a prayer to the uh, god emperor. Okay. Uh, as you do so, a, a cleric um, walks behind you, uh, briefly pausing for a moment, and then uh, sits down at a pew nearby, waiting for you to finish your ritual. As you do, and you uh, get up and turn around, he, he says, Ah, hello! Uh, my child, how long have you been in town? Um, brother, I, I may look unusual, but I, I am actually of, of the cloth as well. Um, I am actually here to investigate some uh, recent events over at the, uh, the forges. Oh, um, were you sent here to, uh, investigate the uh, explosion that happened there you've you've heard of them wow <laughs> yes it was it qua uh, caused quite a stir around town I heard a few of the traders come back talking about it hmm interesting to hear that it traveled that quickly um yes actually it, it, here for that that very purpose um, and I'm, I was glad to have found a, a place of worship amongst the oh so many uh yes Danny sorry <laughs> the phone is constantly beeping just turn it off 
<laughs> Fuck him. The silence. Yo, or... this is true. Um, glad to see a, a place of worship amongst so many of the. Uh, uh, themes and idols of the uh, Mechanicus. Ah, oh, yes, they uh, they tend to slack when it comes to their worship, but uh, we we know what the the important things are in our just quaint little town. Not at each other. Yeah, yeah that's right. Fuck yeah. Let's go on those fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> anyway, um. Uh, what could you tell me about this uh, quaint village? Um, well, ever since I've been here from the missionary training, uh, it seems to be just a, a very pleasant little agricultural village. Um, we are, as you know, neighbored by the Mechanicus City, and uh, a bit more of a feral city on our uh, southern border uh, but this city uh, this town is a very nice little place where uh, the flock simply wish to live their lives and contribute what little they can to his emperor's glory was there anything in particular you wanted to know um was wondering if um, you had, uh, many of the, uh, um, Rentis, uh, venture this close to town. Uh, no, from what I've heard, the Herantis still have a bit of bad blood with the, uh, the Fared. But, uh, occasionally, uh, there are traders that come by. I mean, they are friendly to each other now, tenuously, ever since the, uh, Mechanicus came in. But, uh, as far as I know, very few, uh, actually stay in town for much time. Um, do you know if many people venture? from the um, forage areas to uh, spend their guilt here in town? Uh, well, all of... <laughs> Bless you! Thank you. All of the uh, <laughs> forge workers from town generally spend their guilt here to support the local economy. Um, let's see, um, I'd assume that probably based on the, the world and stuff, this is a, more of a mission than it is a church. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, brother, how are the, uh, efforts to help the, uh, less than fortunate going uh, well, we open up, we've opened up a soup kitchen to, uh, do what we can to help them out. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have very much money, so it's, uh, very less than ideal, I suppose, to, uh, shine his glory on them, uh, the, his emperor's glory on the, the downtrodden, but we do what we can to keep the the uh, less fortunate farmers and vagrants uh, uh, clean and uh, able to rehabilitate them. Um, where do the vagrants come from, primarily? Um, a lot of them seem to come from uh, the... Oh god, what's the name of the town? I already forgot. Loknit. A lot of them seem to come out of Loknit. Uh, some of them are just traveling traders down on their luck, and 
the vast majority seem to be uh, or are farmers that are just uh, born into the lower echelon of society. Um, I, I was uh, told that there are um, uh, fuck, I forget what they're called. What are the dinosaur things here? Reptile? Carnosaur? Carnosaurs. I, I heard that uh, carnosaurs uh, plague these lands. Do you have many issues with them this close to the Mechanicus? <laughs> Uh, yes, we've had a few issues with them. Um, I've heard they've even attacked quarry workers as well. Uh, the farms every once in a while get attacked. And I believe there's actually uh, a posting uh, in the the market for uh, carnosaur poaching. Or to eradicate some of the local carnosaurs. Mm, poaching. Interesting. Yes. Their, uh, their skins sell for uh, quite a large amount of money both on and off world yeah. so uh, there are many poachers uh, and the town actually appreciates it very much because it you know protects them of course brother um I am free for the next few hours um did you need help with your daily chores here or in the, the soup kitchen Ah, yes, if you want to uh, go and help some of the the uh, nunnery in the soup kitchen, that would be uh, most helpful. I'm oh. just sweeping up around here. If you would like to help with that, that's fine, too. Uh, well, I will do so. Pay homage. Well, well I'm here. I will pay homage to the uh, god emperor. It feels nice to go back to my roots. <laughs> Yes, of course. Poke my way into the soup kitchen, I guess. Okay. Uh, you see a few, uh, a few people, very downtrodden looking, uh, walking through the soup kitchen with uh, little bowls to get, to get some, uh, like hydrofungus and stuff, and uh, whatever odd broth they are serving. Yeah. Go ahead, describe it. I'll, I'll go investigate this pot of mystery rule. Uh, it's a very... You'd like to say vegetable-heavy broth, but you're not entirely sure because it smells like flesh. Uh, it's brought barely to a boil, and uh, pinks and green chunks of something float to the surface and then fall back down from the uh, lightly bubbling broth. Oh, it sounds so good. Um, <laughs> could uh, could uh, you describe the color? Of the, liquid? the liquid is a, a very warm brown with a white film lightly covering it. Mm, that's at least some fat. Um, Alright. Mm. So I won't be eating this stuff. <laughs> um, uh, does it look like there's somebody in charge? Uh, well, there is a, a particularly kind of bossier nun who's kind of barking orders at the two others that are ladling out the soup mm. and bread. Okay, well, I guess I'll approach her. Yes, uh, what what do you want? Ah, sister, I'm I'm actually here to... I, I may not look it, but I, I am actually a, a cleric. I have a... I'm doing some... some things on world, and um, thought I would pay homage to the uh, god emperor and help help the needy. Oh, brother, I'm, I'm sorry, you, uh... You look quite different than I would expect you to. Uh, yes, well, uh, if you would, if you'd like to help out in the uh, the kitchens, that would be fantastic. Uh, oh. Otherwise, uh, I'm sure that uh, one of the other brothers can have you help around the the church. Oh. Would like to spend my time serving the uh, the needy. 
Ah, very if, well. If that means I, I must cook, I, 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 I do know a few recipes. <laughs> uh, yes, well, uh, if you are a good cook, we could definitely use that. Otherwise, just another hand ladling, so one of the, the sisters can uh, do the cooking. That would, uh, that would help as well. Oh. Um, should I roll my cook thing? Yeah, if you want, you can roll your, <laughs> if you want. Yeah. Uh, is that even a test on intelligence? Ooh. Cooking? That might taste, yeah, that okay. might taste funky. That's, <laughs> all right. Let's give it a go. Oh my God, I'm going to make people sick. Yes! <laughs> um so yeah she takes you to uh um to the actual kitchen area and puts you in front of a a stove uh with a large amount of ingredients uh next to it most of the ingredients you don't seem to be too familiar with um there are a lot of very local plants and such uh you just start dicing things and throwing it into um the kind of large cauldron pot. So, so we're calling this a gumbo. Yeah. Uh, as you uh, as you get down the line through all the uh, the vegetables, you come ac across what you believe are the meats. Um, they are kind of like a very gelatinous, uh, pinkish brown sort of goop. Which you uh, initially begin to uh, pile up and start shoveling in, but uh, you see a uh, a uh, wild rat run by and decide to <laughs> slam it with your cleaver, and uh, you throw it in the broth as well. Hey, it's protein, right? Ain't hurt nobody. Uh, and you uh, you cook it for a few minutes, bringing it to a, a very a safe boil to kill any of the the bacteria that might be in there, and then uh, yeah, we just do that for a couple of hours. Cool. Um, while I'm doing this, can I observe the people that are coming up for soup and stuff? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Most of them are uh, quite downtrodden, and uh, you get little glances of their conversations as they come up and talk to the sisters most of them very thankful and uh, praising of the god emperor and the good works that the church is doing for them uh, okay. some talking about their ails and pains on the f on in their work and some talking about friends mm. um can I gather if any of these people are by themselves? Uh, it seems that the the majority of them are independent of one another, though uh, some of them have like working relationships with each other. Okay. Um, I guess now would probably be a good time to see the bars coming along. Yep. Just gonna get to that Neilis. Now the uh, the bar is starting to fill up as the workers get back in from their, uh, their days at the field. Uh, about what time is it? Uh, like eight. Cool. The darkness has fallen over the land. The weary, weary farmhands of all marched into the bar and start drinking and laughing with each other. Uh -huh. Kind of having a very, very jolly time. Some some uh, music is being played on a uh, very old looking like harpsichord it's a it's a fairly uh, cheerful and jaunty tune and then a few people begin dancing uh, as the bar fills up Garvel sorta saunters his way over to uh, one of the guys sitting in the back who looks like he's a uh, he walked in with a bit of a limp and he's it's obvious that his shoulder is, is bothering him as he kind of crouches down in a booth by himself, and Garvel goes over and begins drinking with him. Um, 
does anything else happen other than that? I mean, I'm kind of just chilling at the bar, drinking too. Not really doing a whole lot. Are you drinking too? I am. Okay, you know, for every drink you take, that's a guilt. I know. Okay, just making sure. I gotta fit the part, buddy. Okay. Um, so you're just gonna be sitting there and watching? Yeah. Uh, nothing, nothing exceptional happens. I mean, you just see a bunch of people come in, drink, a couple of them leave, a couple of them stay, keep drinking. A couple people get a little rowdy. There's some uh, light kind of jostling, not really fights or anything, just people pushing them, pushing each other around, blowing off some steam. Uh, yeah, that's basically what's going on. Uh, what about what's happening between Garvold and the other guy? Uh, they seem to be getting along uh, pretty pretty smashingly. The other guy seems to be opening up and talking with uh, Garvel fairly uh, overtly, you know. A lot of hand gestures and such. Mm-hmm. They're having a can pretty I, good old time back there. Can I hear what they're talking about? Uh, he's, he's regaling him with a tale of uh, one of the days when he was on the farm, and he... He saw a thresher go by and just whop off one of his uh, co-workers' arm. And the uh, the guy turned to the uh, the man running the the thresher and, with his bloody stump, threw it at him and knocked the guy out of the thresher. <laughs> and uh, he's he's making a great deal of boasting of the toughness of this man. And la- they laugh together uh, when he gets to the. The line of him throwing his own severed arm at the guy. That's exciting. Okay, well, considering we're just kind of waiting for Garvel to pick somebody, I mean, I'm just here to make sure he doesn't do anything rash or out of line. Okay. So. Stubbsy. What are you up to? What do you want to do? Um, uh, I guess I'll start making small chat with the, uh, nuns. Um, so I guess an inquiry check to just see if they know of any, like, recent vagrants that, like, have, like, not a guilt to their name. Okay, go for it. So, uh... Really should just make a macro for that. <laughs> oh, um, good. Well, they they talk about the the poverty of some of the lower level farmer uh, farm hands and such, um, and how the gambling by the the lake and river nearby seem to be getting worse, and they're not sure what they could do to help. And you know, it's just it's it's really sad to them that mm. uh, so many people are are turning to these cheap thrills of gambling and being screwed out of what a little money they have. Interesting. Um, given that it's nighttime, um, can I peer out of the kitchen and see uh, how full the uh, like seating area is? Yeah. Uh, uh, the seating area, uh, or the like the actual uh, hall where they're all eating uh, is fairly full. Uh, you'd estimate it's probably like 70% full. There's probably two or three dozen people in there that right. are eating. Um, at a glance, can I see anybody who's like in tattered clothing? Uh, a lot of the... Uh, the farm workers have like very kind of patchworky laden shirts. Um, some of the other people who uh, look a bit more destitute and uh, feeble are simply wearing like a sheet on them. Is that kind of like yeah, like a burlap sheet over them, like a poncho kind of a thing. It's poor people. Huh. It's poor people. So, so sad. So sad. 
Um. Okay. Um. Anyways, I'll let you so, think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll let you think of what you want to do. Uh, Neilis, around uh, probably 9.30 or so, uh, Garvel comes up to you in his uh, kind of cheerful mood. He's been drinking for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, buddy, I, I, I think this guy has a, a friend you might want to meet. And he, uh, he tells you the tale of uh, the guy who threw his arm at the, uh, the thresher <laughs> operator. And uh, that his friend told him that this this man has uh, fallen very ill to an infection that he received uh, after that, and uh, that he's been he's been living by the church, but often can't can't even make it to get his own food, and uh, says that might be the kind of guy that you're you're looking for. Ah, perfect. Good job, Garvel. And uh, yeah, Garvel just kind of. Nods and then goes back to talk to his uh, his friend. All right, um, I'm gonna vox stubber then. Okay. Uh, stubber. The Silas. I think we may have found our guy. He apparently is a lost an arm and he hangs out by the church. The church, you say? Yes. Um, I'm still here. Um. Could you describe him a little bit more? You say he's missing an, an arm? Yes, he is missing an arm, and he hangs out by the church. Farm and sometimes, hand. Huh? He's a farmhand, farm and sometimes comes in for food, but sometimes does not. Hmm. I'll uh, ask the uh, the nuns that, are, uh, that I'm eating here in the soup kitchen, see if they... Uh, and recall such a fellow. Um, but apparently he's fallen ill to infection and he sounds like a good candidate. Mm. Infection? Yes. Would be worthy of seeing a doctor. We might be able to play that. I'll see if I can find him. Okay, sounds good. I'm not cut the line. Good. Yeah. Um... I guess I'll just hail a little closer, sister. Um, excuse me a moment. Uh, I, I I heard a one of my um, friends um, heard a tale of a, a, a man that lost his arm recently. Um, ha have you seen him tonight? Uh, I believe you. Are you talking about Shane? No, I haven't seen him in in uh, a day or two. Shane. Hmm. Um, yes, he, he lost I, his arm in a terrible farming accident. I, uh, I heard he's, he's been having issues just even making it here. Do you, do you know where he's staying? Uh, yes, he's he's uh, he should be staying. Uh, well, there's a, a shack down by uh, the Lyrian farm, and she, she points you over in the direction that uh, a lot of them seem to stay in. Uh, and that's where the last place that I heard he was staying at. Okay. Um. Do you do you recognize any of the uh, other farmhands from uh, Delirian Farm? I I might consider taking a, a larger amount of um. Food to them if if you think many of them haven't showed tonight. Um. Well, most of our. Our regulars have showed up, and she uh, points you to uh, a couple of guys sitting at a table. Uh, they're from the uh, Delirium Farmstead. If you'd like to go talk to them, hmm. no, I, I think I'll, I'll try to focus on Shane. Um, I, I've heard that he might require some uh, medical attention as well, so uh, I think I'll, I'll I'll go see him right now make sure he's uh, feeling all right with uh, some uh, gumbo <laughs> oh that's uh that's very generous of you brother um may the uh, the god emperor smile upon you for your generosity 
Yeah, yeah certainly, sister. Uh, God, God Emperor protects. The Emperor yeah. protects. Yeah, whatever. Um, and I'll take my gilbo and see mm -hmm. if I can go find the guy. Yeah. You guys gonna meet up, or is Neela just hanging out still at the bar? Just um, I'm just hanging out because if I go over there, it might be a little awkward, especially if I'm wearing a cleric robe. Fair enough. Um, sure. Okay. Whatever. Um, yeah. Uh, yes, after about ten minutes of walking or so, you find yourself, well, down a dirt path, you find yourself outside of a, uh, a fairly large, uh, maybe ten meter by twenty meter shack. Uh, which you believe to be the one that the uh, the nun told you of. As you uh, creak open the door, the rancid smell almost takes you off your feet, and you your stomach curdles. <laughs> Yummy. Mm. Delicious. Okay. Somebody. Uh, okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, aside from the smell, I walk in. What do I see? Uh, you see rack after rack of uh, cots and uh. Um. How do I phrase this? Like bed pans, basically. Mm. Um. <clears throat> towards the back, you can hear uh some kind of almost hysterical moaning and uh, not really words but mumblings I guess okay um well I guess vocally uh Shane are, are, are you here and you, uh, the, the, the mumbling in the back gets, uh, a bit louder. I guess I'll go investigate it. Uh, as you make your way into the, uh, the dank, dark... <laughs> the dank? Yes, the dank and dark, uh, shed. You come upon a, uh, a cot with a man vaguely resembling the description. And by vaguely, I mean he's missing an arm. Um, yes, the, the severed stump, barely bandaged at all, is, uh, in fact, still oozing some sort of, a white, pussy kind of liquid. Mm. And, uh, his eyes seem to be rolling back and forth, not really sure what he's seeing, and he's sweating profusely. Good... Um. Hmm. I guess I'll box Nihilus. Um, Nihilus, are you are you there? Yes. Um, I, I found who I believe to be Chain, based on your description. Um. <coughs> unfortunately, he might not be of uh, any use to us. And why um, is that? He looks almost as if he might not be with us much longer or might require more medical attention um, that might cause some uh, suspicion. Oh, is he in that bad of a condition? He uh, does not appear to be coherent and... Um, His uh, arm needs much more attention than we probably thought previous. Well, that's a shame. Let's hope um, we can get away with him. The uh, worst of it is that he, he seems to be um, incoherently rambling. Hmm. Well, he's not like rambling, like trying to make sentences. It's more, you know, he's just like, uh, uh, my arm, uh, kind of a thing. Well, still, it's noisy. Yeah. We'd have to sedate the fucker. Yeah. 
Um, I guess it's possible, but. Hmm. Nihilus, I'm not sure on this one. I, it's your call, though. Mm. Well, have you found anyone else at the church yet? The church appears to be mostly um, people that come for the, the soup kitchen that the uh, mission has in place. Um, seem to be mostly um, farmers or traders who are down on their luck. Um, most of these people we could get away with bribing but nobody that seems they would uh, keep quiet in exchange for medical attention mm. well did you find this guy at the church or um he wasn't anywhere near the church he's uh, off um, the nuns pointed me to this this place. Uh, it's the shack on the Delirian farm, um, where apparently m most of their workers uh, live. Is there anyone there that would be interested, or that would seem to fit the needs? Um, I don't know. Are there other people? Uh, currently in the, the shack, you don't see anyone else. No. Uh, uh, it's uh, just him. Yes, uh, everyone else is gone. I, while I was at the soup kitchen before I left, the uh, nun said that most of the regulars from the farm um, were present already. Uh, um, none of them looked they had any kind of, needed any kind of medical attention. Hmm. Well, let me speak to Garvel again and see if he can find anything else. Sure. Um, I'm gonna go over to Garvel and kind of tap him on the shoulder. Okay. And then have him get up from his conversation just so the other guy can't overhear him because they're okay. buddies apparently. Yep. You lead him away. So. Stubber found a guy that you told me about, and apparently he's in really bad condition and probably won't live very much longer. Okay. So, I, that's probably not going to work out for us. Because we need someone who's going to keep quiet, which he isn't. He's moaning loudly, apparently. Well... You just need a body, don't you? Preferably not a dead one, though. <laughs> <sighs> Fine, I'll go look for another person. Alright. Then I throw him. Like another, like, how much is a drink? Uh, a good drink is 40. A medium size or a medium drink would be like five, and a shitty drink is like a geld. All right, I throw him five and tell him to go buy another one or something for his troubles. All right. Yeah, he just kind of grumbles and walks over back to the bar. Good. Well, Stubber, uh, Garvel's gonna keep looking, and I'll let you know what happens. Sure, I'll, I'll spend a few moments here and see if a uh, friend becomes more coherent. Sounds good. All right, Stubber, what are you gonna do? Um, well, I guess I'll try to talk to him. Um. Shane uh, Shane do you know your name? Uh, who's there? Um a visiting a clergyman and the the sisters uh, told me of your uh, your plight. I've I've brought you some um some soup. Oh, thank the emperor and he he, he does what he can to like lean up to try and get like to sit up 
but he gets about halfway and then he falls back down. He just his muscles shaking and quivering as he can't quite do what he's trying to do. Okay. Um are you able to feed yourself or do you need assistance? If if you could help that would be that would be great. Yeah, I'm gonna proceed to feed him. Then he proceeds um, to eat. Um, I must ask. Uh, the sisters weren't very specific. What what happened to your your arm? Some some jerk with a thresher took it off when I was working on the farm. Um, have. Has the uh, has the uh, the clerics not been able to give you medical attention? No, the uh, I I was feeling fine. I mean, I patched it up until recently, and it seems like it got some sort of infection, and oh, it's it's gotten bad real fast. Um, could you just describe the, the kind of pain you're in? Uh, it's, it's very severe and this fever just won't go away and I don't, I don't know. It, it, it just hurts. It hurts everywhere. like just taking this guy out of the shack and shooting him. <laughs> Solve your problem? Yeah. Um. Well, you've got a fever. <laughs> you guys are you're dicks. Not, you're not gonna help me for what I need to do. So, mercy kill. Um... Well, this might seem unusual, and I, I can't share all of the, uh, the details, but um, I might be able to get you some medical attention um, in a, the, the Burns Inn and give you a room there. Really? What What do you need me to What do you want me to do for you? Um, we just need you to the to, to play the part. Sure, I'll, whatever you need. Um, do you know of uh, anyone outside of the ecclesiarchy, church or mission that? would be able to provide uh, the kind of uh, medical attention you require? I'm, I'm sure the town doc would be able to help. The town doctor. Um, is there anybody else you could think of? No, uh, not off the top of my head, no. Oh. Hmm. Um... Let me uh, g give me a moment. Uh, I'll, I'll be right back and I'll leave the shack real quick. Okay. And um, Fox, uh, Nihilus, um, Nihilus, are you still there? Nihilus, I'm here. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Baby, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, our my friend here has uh, come to. And he, he does sound willing to exchange uh, medical attention to play the part of our, our fool. Oh, perfect. Um, 
He says that there is a local doctor that should be able to uh, give him the medical attention he seeks. Um, the uh, his arm is infected, though it, it seems. Well, hopefully we can clear that up. And Garvel did bring up a good point. We do only need a body, so if it does come to that, I think we'll still manage to get by. Um, I believe in the time being, though, you should probably pay a, a visit to the doctor and see if you could uh, persuade him to your pocket. Mm. Yes, I will go by and see him tomorrow. It is quite late already, I'm pretty sure. It's like 10. Yeah, 10 or 11. I don't think a doctor would be around of 10. It's a town doctor, though. Would he be around? Town doctor? Yeah. I guess I could try. Alright, um... Okay, I'll try and find him and see what I can get him to do for us. Okay. In the meantime, I'll, I'll keep our uh, new friend company. Sounds good to me. I'll cut the line and go back in and start feeding my, my new friend. Very good. All right, Nihilus, what are you going to do? Um... Let's see here. What am, what am I to do? Um, I'm gonna go back over to Garvel and kind of just nudge him again. And instead of him getting up, saying, "You know, we we've got him. We're good." He, he turns to you and uh, he just nods and uh, goes back to drinking. And then I... Regaling his barmates at the time he beat the Grim Reaper at shooting. <laughs> <coughs> Good. Good! Alright. Well, then, I'm going to go ahead and leave the bar. All right. Seeing as Garvel hasn't caused any trouble, and he's doing pretty good. Yeah. Being social and such. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to go and kind of walk around town and see if I can find this doctor guy. Very good. Uh, I guess use inquiry. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, just role play asking somebody or something. I don't know. God, I rolled an eighty-nine. Good. So yeah, you uh, you walk around town for about an hour or so, and uh, can't just can't find where the doctor is. You just, you just don't understand. Where could he be? This isn't a big town. Where the hell is he? Uh, about an hour later, you end up walking back into the bar, a bit a bit disheartened at your inability to find the doctor. Good. Um, I go up to the, the bartender, and, do, do you know where I can find a doctor around here? Uh, yes, if you, uh, head to the church, I, I believe they have, a a cleric that could help you, uh, otherwise, the, uh, the town doctor, who's a bit more expensive, uh, he's just down the street about a block. Ah, perfect, thank you. 
and then I, I walked down the street about a block. Okay. Yeah. There's buildings oh. there. I look for something that's called... Doctor. Doctor. And then bright, uh, flashing neon lights. <laughs> 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 no, uh, you walk, uh, you walk up and it looks like a, kind of like a, a house, not really like a, a facility or anything. Just kind of like a, a nice home on the main road. Uh, there's a little medical cross signifying a doctor would probably be there. Um, are there lights on inside or anything? Uh, there is a light on uh, kind of towards the back of the house. Um, I'm just gonna knock on the door then. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, you knock on the door after about a half a minute or so. A, uh, a very tall gentleman, uh, wearing a very kind of nice uh, suit, opens the door. Uh, what what can I do for you this damned late? Are you the town doctor? Yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm Arthur Finch. We have a name, everybody. Okay. Arthur. Doctor. Perfect. Um, may, may I come in and speak to you for a moment? I have some... Something to speak to? A person? That needs All treating. Alright, and he, he opens the door and lets you in. Thank, thank you for allowing me to come in. Um, I, I need you to look after somebody for me. Who is going to be staying at the Burn Inn? Uh, very well. Uh, what, what's his uh, problem? He's lost an arm and it's become infected. Ah, uh, quite dangerous. All right. Uh, when, when shall I start? Um, tomorrow. But the only thing is, is we need to keep this a little bit on the down low. Uh, how do you mean? I uh, just, you know, keep it between you and I. Uh, very well. Uh, I have I have no problem doing that um, <coughs> send a message to uh, to here tomorrow with uh, the room number and I will I will go there and uh, treat your treat your friend okay and then the other part of this not only do you need to keep this quiet but out of character Dan is really bad at talking to people like this Good. I'm either gonna really, really screw this up, or this is gonna be not the greatest thing in the world, but it'll still work. Come down. Whatever happens, happens. All right. Um, just let me think about it for a second. Come on, Danny, you never lied to a doctor before. It's, just, I do, it's like I don't know what to say. Hey, baby. No. <laughs> so. I think usually you tell them lube, please. Thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? No, I think this will be alright. Alright, well. <laughs> Danny Yellow Strats. Yep. I will let you know. I'll let you know the information tomorrow, and you will come treat him. Uh, how much do you expect in payment? Uh, it's about uh, seventy-five gelt, depending, of course, on uh, what he's uh, sick with. That's fair enough. All right. Well, 
I will be in contact with you tomorrow. Shall I send you a message, or do you have a Vox number I can reach you at? Uh, just send a runner. Will do. Well, thank you for your time and seeing me at such a late hour. Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> and he, uh, he opens the door and gestures. Yay. Okay, and then I'm gonna box Stubber as I'm walking back to the inn. Stubber? That's Stubber. Stubber. Yes, Nihilus. <clears throat> Um, we have the doctor, and he's going to be at the inn tomorrow, once okay. I contact him. And, uh, how much persuading did he take? Not much. I told him that we needed to keep it between him and I, and he said that was fine. Ah. Uh, did you, uh, give him any specifics? Not yet. Not yet. I didn't even give him my name. That works. Did he uh, note the curiosity of you being in ecclesiarchy robes? He did not. Good job. <laughs> um, as I'm looking at Chain, um, do you, do you think we should bring our our friend to the the inn? Uh, yes, the doctor will be there tomorrow, and I think Shane might need to, uh, have a bit of a name change for a while. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, given the state that he's in, I, I will need a, a hand, um, bringing him back to the, the end. Okay, just let me know where you are and I can come help you. Gonna uh, uh, yeah. tell him. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. Alright. Click. Uh, you make your way over to the, the shack. Uh, get there. Make your way in. And the stench nearly knocks you off your feet. It's terrible. Uh, but you, you make your way in. And uh, find Stubber at the back. Oh. Yeah. Nihilus. Oh, how rubbery. Rubbery. Um, this this is Shane. Uh, Shane, this is uh, my good friend. Yeah, he raises his hand. Hello. Hello, Shane. <laughs> you mean he raises his own hand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Shane, we're gonna be taking you back to the inn, and you'll be seeing a doctor tomorrow. Oh, thank you. I'm. You were, you're such good people. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna kinda just wave that one off. <laughs> <laughs> How do we reply to that? <laughs> and then we raped him. <laughs> no. But you were such good people. Took him behind the shed, shot him, and then did that. So we took him behind the shed, tore off his skin, <laughs> raped him, and then murdered him. Whoa. Took off his skin? Yeah, I mean, you're into some weird shit. Just thinking of the Reavers from... I know. Yeah. Uh, Anyways. <clears throat> wow. Um, Shane, before we leave, do you have any uh, personal items yeah. you would like to... Points Take. to a small trunk. A clean pair of clothes would be good. Uh, certainly. Um, if you if you wish, because I, I figured you might have uh, several visits with the doctor. Um, would you like us to move your uh, trunk to the inn? Uh, if you if you want, yes, that would that'd be great. That'd be great. Certainly. Um. Uh. Oh boy. How much does the trunk weigh? Uh, probably like forty kilograms or so. Hmm. Let's go ahead and try to pick that up. Hmm. Good. 
Nihilus, it, it appears uh, you're going to have to carry this. Uh, to be fair, if you're going to carry him, you guys are going to have to make two trips. Yeah. Mm. Like, there's no way for you guys to get both of these on one trip. Hmm. Unless Nihilus wants to lift, like, a fuck ton. And it's actually not a roll to do this. Like, there's a chart, and that's all. Oh, uh, okay. Oops, went too far. Um, let's see, so 40 would require a strength of 7. No. Then we should be able to carry that pretty easily. Yeah, I've got a strength of 35. No, you don't. Oh, you mean the bonus of seven? Oh, yeah, combining your strength and toughness bonus, you need seven. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I don't. That's just the trunk. And then, uh, he weighs almost 60, which requires eight. So, yeah, you're going to need to take two trips. Okay. Well, 60 required, oh, right. Well. Requires an eight bonus. All right. Um,. Mm. So yeah, just go back and forth. Fuck it, just hammer it up. Yeah. All right, Yellow fine. strats. Go ahead and do that then. Alright, so by midnight you've gotten him in his trunk, tucked away in Neilis' room. Good. What do you guys feel like doing now that it's uh basically midnight? Um Damn it. Danny, this is why it'd be nice if you had a last name and just slap that onto this guy. <laughs> uh, I do. We just haven't gotten to it yet. <laughs> that reminds me. Well, at the end of this, I'm gonna start telling you guys about some stuff that's gonna start happening in Dark Heresy. But anyways, he has the last name. We're just not getting to it yet. You haven't mm. earned that, Stubbsy. Say so. Yeah. Anyways. Mm. I think you can Alice for like two days, two, three days. That's um. Fine. Okay. That works. Um. I suppose you'll be leaving. Um. I guess in the room dark future you don't really label your stuff. Not really. Hmm. He doesn't have like some sort of ring or amulet or something that shows he's an inquisitor. Nihilus? Uh, yeah. Uh, Nihilus has a inquis like he has the seal of an inquisitor on a ring, and he has a watch that. Also has embroidered embroilments on it. Mm. I can give him my watch. Yeah. Well, just an effect to leave in the room should yeah. inquiring minds come in. Um. That should be sufficient. In the meantime, though, um. He also has his arbitrator badge. That's going to help him. Anyways. Hmm. Okay. Um, well, Nihilus, since your uh, bed is occupied, where do you think you'll be sleeping? Mm. Well, possibly. Maybe outside? Or I could just sleep on someone's floor. I highly suggest you don't sleep anywhere in Garvel's room. <laughs> well, Garvel might not even be sleeping in his room knowing him. You want to take that chance? Go for it. Anyway, I, I'm going to uh, go to my quarters and rest for the 
the knife. Okay. Okay. Nelly, what are you gonna do? Um. I am going to go to Garvel's room and take his bed. <laughs> and pass out. Very good. Uh, at about 3 a.m., Nihilus, you, uh, you feel a body slam down next to you. <laughs> good. Uh, you guys wake up at about uh, 8 or so in the morning the next day. It's a nice day. It's a pleasant day. It's pretty dry, a little warm. Probably about, you know, like 85 or so outside. So, like, uh, right now? and Yeah. Uh, aren't you? No, not bad. Not, not yeah, too bad. Yeah. Temperate. Temperate arid climate. Pretty good description. It's, uh... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Anyways, you guys are up. What do you guys want to do? Um... I would like to go to the kitchen. Alright, make your way to the kitchen. Uh, oh, I know what you're doing. You make your way to the kitchen, and you see uh, little Aaliyah and her mother cooking in the back. <clears throat> Good morning. Uh, Aaliyah turns around. Good morning. And her mother slowly turns around. Ah, cleric. A good day to you. What can I do for you? Um, was wondering if, uh, if uh, breakfast was uh, ready yet. My uh, party is uh, slowly starting to uh, wake up from their sleep. Uh, it should be ready uh, within the next half hour or so. I just <coughs> put some uh, fresh scones in the oven. Scones? I see that your husband spoke to you of that. My, I, I thank you. I have not had a, a good scone in over a, a year now. Ah, oh. Uh, yes, well, I hope you like them. I, I haven't made scones in a very long time, but, uh, I think I remember my mother's recipe. Fair lady, any, any scone, <laughs> it could be even burnt. Any scone is a good scone. <laughs> would taste better than the meat paste that I've had to endure for the last <laughs> month. Mm -hmm. Well, I know everything I'm feeding stubber for the rest of this campaign. No, Richard, no! <laughs> no! Everyone else has, like, beef wellington. Stubber has meat paste. Stop it. They make you go insane and give you a meat paste addiction. Oh, God. You hate the taste, but you can't live without it. You get to the point, eventually, where you gain one insanity point every time you eat it. Every, no, every time you don't eat meat paste, one insanity. Yeah. Uh, Anyways. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I'll, uh... I'll let my uh, the rest of my party know that breakfast is uh, eight thirty. Uh, yes, that that sounds uh, that sounds right. Will give us time to uh, get properly dressed and such. Uh, thank you. Of course, and uh, they go back to cooking. Go back upstairs. Good. Good. And uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, check on Nihilus. Nihilus, and I'll knock on Garvel's door. Um, I'll get up and open the door. Uh, what do I see? <laughs> uh, you see, uh, Garvel laying, uh, laying in the, in the bed, uh, unclothed, still trunk and passed out. And, uh, Nihilus wearing, uh, just, you know, a light undershirt and boxers. Looking, he's looking confident this morning. Yeah. Alright. Not, not that you usually check that out, but it's looking a little confident. <laughs> okay. I take it you had a fun night? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't judge. <laughs> the emperor condemns you and walks away <laughs> I should actually do research I have no idea 
whether or not homosexuality is acceptable in the grim darkness. Uh, I've never thought about it. I wouldn't no, think it would, but then again, neither, I don't actually know. Neither have I. That's certainly not something I've read so far. I mean, I've read in like a couple of books about like nobles getting away with it, but they were corrupt, so I don't know if it's like they were corrupt or exactly what's up with it. Anyways, back to Neelis after a rough night of passionate conquest. Oh, yes. I've been using that so much lately. Um, I guess we should, uh, check on our new friend. Yes, let's go have a look at how Neelis is doing. Hmm. Yes. And you go over to Neelis's room and open the door, and, uh, he seems to be sweating quite a bit still, and his head moves from left to right, but he's currently asleep, you can tell. So he's, he's alive still. Yes, okay. he has not died. That works for me. Um, I guess I'll take my head out of the door. Um, he appears to be somewhat stable. Um, when do we have the, uh, the doctor coming? Um, we will send a runner and he will be over as soon as he can. Mm. By runner, I assume you mean garble. Or leaf, or whoever wants to go. Mm. Fair enough. Um, I've, uh, dropped by the kitchen and, uh, breakfast, uh, will be ready in, um, say 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, what's for breakfast? Um, a surprise. A surprise, Very you say? delicious surprise. Ah, perfect. Uh, go back to my room and, uh, pray. And <laughs> pray. 20 the minutes gay. later, you all assemble downstairs. And, pray uh, the gay away. Uh, yeah. Water. Lady, <laughs> good. <laughs> um, yes, the the lady of the house comes out with a uh, a nice large bowl of pungent meat paste and sets it down in front of. <laughs> no, you lied to me. I trusted you. <laughs> no, she uh she comes out with a a very large basket of blueberry scones. Oh. So excited. You all you all dig in and they taste quite nice. Uh they are like a kind of like a buttermilky uh blueberry scone. It's very delicious. It's very delicious. Proceed to eat oh. way more than I should. Done. Yes. Uh, after you've all eaten your fill, about 20 or 30 minutes later, what do you want to do? Um, I am going to have Leith run for the doctor. Alright, um, but be... before okay. doing so, um, the name I will be going by from now on or for a little bit is yeah okay probably Raga okay Raga on Raga uh, Leaf and um... yeah Raga Aaliyah Burns both uh go to the, the doctors. She has nothing okay. to do. So she goes with Leaf to uh, fetch the doctor. Uh, about uh, 20 minutes after that, the uh, they all come back. You you lead the doctor up to Neolis' room. And he, he goes about uh, <coughs> patching up and uh, diagnosing his patient.
Is there anything that you guys want to do? Okay. Um, what was the name of this guy that we're housing for a little bit? Shane. 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 Help. I never wrote it down, so I'm stupid. Uh, Leith tells you that she wants to uh, stay with the doctor and uh, basically try and learn or help as much as she can. Yeah, that makes sense. And I allow her to do so. Garvel. Jeez, Danny, what kind of impression you run in? <laughs> Garvel gets up and uh, heads back to the here, bar. Buddy. He's not spending any more and more money. <laughs> Carvel gets up, walks yeah, into Stubber's bad. room, then walks out and goes to the bar. <laughs> so what are you guys up to today? Um, I guess I'll go back to reading my log for the astropath until the doctor shows. Doctor's here. Oh. Yeah. Doctor's in Neilis's room working on him. Oh. That was... That was quick. Yep. Yeah. So 75. It's like, it's like 9.30 now. Oh, okay. Uh... So I'll go into the room and just be a fly on the wall and see what they talk about. Oh, right. hell. Neilis, okay. what are you gonna do? So... <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go to the doctor and ask him how long, or like what his prognosis is. All right. See, see what the dealio is on. On, him. Uh, on your way up, or yeah, on your way back up. Garvel finally woke up and he's heading down now to go back to the bar. Okay, um, good. He he stops you on the uh, staircase and he's like, "Hey, Neilis, do you know they're paying?" Like a thousand gelt to kill a carnosaur. What? Yeah, I saw a posting in the bar. It's like a thousand gelt for uh, each head. So what are you still doing here? That, I'm just, I'm gonna go grab a couple drinks and see if I can find out where any of them like you know live. Do it, buddy. I mean, also, yeah? you're talking to Raga right now. Uh, okay, sure. Sure, buddy. And he, he just, he leaves and goes back okay. to the bar. He's gonna get hammered. He's not gonna <laughs> care. He's gonna come back with, like, four heads. We're rich, gonna guys! <laughs> He's also not gonna remember. <laughs> Kitty! Kitty! Anyways, you guys make your, or, yeah, both of you make your way into the, uh, into Neelis' room. Leaf and the doctor are uh, both working on the, the patient. Raga, you approach the doctor and ask what his prognosis is. And he says that there is a, uh, pretty serious infection that he's going to treat with, uh, a topical anesthetic and some, uh, antibacterials to see if he can prevent it from spreading and hopefully that'll kill it, but, uh, if not, he'll have uh, some more information within the hour, hopefully. Um, Leith is attempting to seal up his uh, his arm wound. Okay, well, any information you have, please direct it to my associate, Stubber, here. Stubber Sarkov. Very good. And he uh, goes back about his work. So, what are you guys up to today? Um, how much paper do you have Roger hmm? how much money do you have you don't we have to tell him leave the room and discuss that kind of stuff don't we yes okay. no no he did call you Roger yeah. Maybe you yeah. think he might be drunk a little, bit. a little bit out of character but you know that's fine Alright, let's leave the room. Okay. You guys go into Stubber's room, and you see Garvel's handwriting. A, uh... Uh, Stubber loves dicks and cocks. <laughs> etched into the, uh, nightstand next to his, his bed. Good. Good. 
He can pay for that. He signed for it. <laughs> um, what do you need? Um, how much money do you have? Um, how much do you need? Well, enough to pay the doctor and enough to pay off whoever I'm going to be talking to. Um, how much does the uh, doctor require? 75 a day, I guess. A, a day, you say? Hmm. I've got enough to support him for 10 days, but it shouldn't take longer than that. Um, well, out, outside of that, how much do you think you'll need? <sighs> really? With what I have right now? I think I should have enough. I'm just making sure that you have enough to pay the doctor. I've plenty to cover the cost of the doctor. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how much you're looking to get out of me for the bomb, though. None right now. None? I have enough to probably cover that. random 1d100 it's that. for something but you guys don't need to know what it's for so I'm not telling you that wasn't hidden by the way yeah what it wasn't hidden I know it didn't need to be okay. I'm not telling you what it's for so I don't need to hide it it's kind of like how I want it to be kind of like how you would do it if we were actually playing this and there's a partition you can hear I'm rolling dice yeah you just but don't we know what it's about see the outcome though no that doesn't matter because you don't know what you don't even know what I'm going for. I literally just rolled a D100. Mm, you don't yeah, know if Lowe's right. good or Lowe's bad. You don't know if you want them. If it's good for you to have that outcome or not. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Enjoy trying to metagame me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! Anyway. And the ninja um, showed up, motherfucker. <laughs> I have plenty to uh, pay the doctor. Okay, well that should be fine then, because I should have enough to probably get anything I really need out of anyone. Okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you guys going to do? Not look like a hipster. So, uh, do do you know how sunny it is in Doucheville right now? <laughs> I don't know, Danny. It's always sunny oh, in Doucheville. It is. How sunny is it? <laughs> so sunny. Um. As for the rest of my day. Uh. Um. For the rest of my day, I'm going to try and find a spot where I can kind of see ships going in and out of the spaceport. Okay. Just to see when one makes landfall, and that's when I'll head over to uh, the Herantis settlement. Very good. Very, very good. Stubzy, what are you going to be doing? Um... Hmm... Awesome. I, I guess I'll go back to the mission and see if I can help those people until the doctor leaves. Well, until the doctor leaves, I'm staying here, but then I'll go to the mission and help them folks out. Very good. Um, Neilis, after about uh, 40 minutes or so, you see a, a uh, <coughs> small uh, shuttle make landfall. Uh, do I see what kind of people get out of it, or am I... Nope, you away? literally just see the shuttle hit see the tree line. Down. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and head north then. What are you wearing? Your ecclesiarchy robe still? No, I thought I was gonna take, uh, Shane. It? Oh, sorry. I, I took his clothes. Right, and so I you're wearing, like, his robe. vagrant wear, basically? Got yeah. It. Uh, what are you equipped with currently? I am carrying my brass knuckles. And... What do I have on me? 
Um, carrying brass knuckles, a flack of Amonsec. And that's that's it. That's it, alright. Uh, you make your way down to the uh, uh, Heronta City, Loknit. Uh, arriving, you estimate just behind the uh, the people from the ship. Uh -huh. uh, as you enter, it's a uh, it's a very primitive and small village. Uh, there are basically clay adobe kind of huts, um, smaller wooden buildings, uh, and in the middle of town, you see a, a man hung upside down, uh, his neck slit and he's bleeding out onto the ground um, the locals though fiercely clothed seem quite jovial and uh, friendly in temperament yeah. alright um, I'm gonna walk over to that hanging body okay. kinda look at it is there anyone, like, standing around it or looking at her, too? Uh, there's a woman nearby who is crying, uh, and a couple of other townspeople milling about near it. A couple comforting her, and some just staring at the body. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask someone staring at the body. What did this lowlife do? Um, the person glares at you and then walks away. Good. Is there any, like, signage or anything around? Uh, no, there is just a symbol of the Mechanicus, and that is it. Oh. There is the cog of the Mechanicus. Okay, uh, to another random person, why is this man strung up like this? He was... He was chosen by the, the machined ones, and he, he fled chosen yes to become one of those that serve like a servitor I'm assuming out of character servitor one that serves servitor yeah hmm. okay okay ah okay why would he flee the Bidding of the would that be the bidding of the God Emperor, or is that uh, just as far like... as you'd know? Yes. Okay. Why would one flee the bidding of the God Emperor? Uh, his his faith must have been weak, or his love for his family too strong. And he he looks over at the the weeping woman and then back to you. Okay, um, I'm gonna go over to Weeping Woman then. Alright. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, ma'am. Was he close to you? Yes, it was, it was my brother. Why would he flee? I don't... And she, uh, in very hushed tones... <coughs> I don't think he wanted to become one of those mindless beasts that the machine ones control. Yeah, a life of servitude doesn't sound like the most glamorous thing in the world. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? What can I do? They already took my brother from me, and she, uh, begins weeping again. Are you close to the God Emperor? Yes, I go and pray in, in chapel every day. Doesn't this upset you about the... The machine people. Yeah. 
<laughs> you want to try that one again? Because I don't know what okay. you're going for. Okay, okay. How does this make you feel about the Mechanicus? I know that they're trying to do what's right, but I just, I don't understand it. Not many of us do. I just got here on the shuttle that just landed. Oh, an off-worlder. Yep. Coming from... I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out here. Um, they're not gonna know what you say. No? They're not that technological. You need to think of them like the highest class among them was Amish. <laughs> okay. Yeah, coming from off-world and just trying to start new. Right. Oh, um... Well, I... I... May the God Emperor bless your, uh, your coming. Well, thank you, and may he shine on you in these troubling times. Yes, um, thank you for... for speaking to me. Of course, and I leave her out of character. Damn it, I was really hoping she was going to be pissed off about the entire thing and be like, yeah, revenge. <laughs> Some people deal with grief differently, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone else around, or? Yeah, there's still a couple people. Uh, are but nearby. are they like you know, kind of like weeping or like kind of angry looking? Uh, most of them are kind of, actually coldly staring at the body. Like the the few that were around the the woman are mm -hmm. obviously grieving, but right. most of the other people are just kind of like looking at it and just kind of taking it in, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, what about that person I first talked to and he, like, stared at me and then walked away? What about him? Is he still around? Or is that person still around? Uh, he's heading towards town now. He's not, like, staying in that little area. Okay. Or he's heading towards, like, the rest of town, I guess. Right. Um, is he still within, like, distance that I can close pretty quickly? Yeah, you could catch up to him if you, like, ran over. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Is it a guy or a girl? It's a male. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I, I apologize for what I said back there. It's just... I, I'm sorry. Was he someone you knew? <laughs> Yes, I, I used to hunt with him. Ah, so you two were friends together. Uh, we were, we were something of <coughs> partners, yes. Partners? Yes, hunting partners. Ah, okay. I thought for a second maybe you were two worked in the same field together. Good. Good. Oh. <sighs> Think of the Amish. Come on. <laughs> That it that was their job was to hunt together. Yeah. I'm thinking 21st century. Let's <laughs> no. go hunting. We're just bros. No. No, their full <laughs> job was hunting. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm I'm sorry I upset you. I just wasn't thinking clearly. It's it's fine. I'm I'm just a bit uh, upset. Is all. Yeah, I can definitely empathize. I, I can, yes, I can empathize with you on that. I just don't see why someone would run from such a thing. Uh, yes, uh, it seemed odd that, uh, such a brave man would, would run, but I guess we all have our reasons. I'm surprised no one's more upset over it, too. And he, uh, he look he looks around a little bit. Sh 
showing showing your emotion isn't uh it isn't safe around here how so <clears throat> and he uh kind of very hushedly they're always watching is there some place we could go uh, let us go hunting uh, in an hour or so, and out there maybe we can we can talk. Perfect. Uh, where back. would you like to meet at? Oh, uh, meet me back by his body, and then we will we will depart from there. Excellent. Do you have any, uh, weapons? Just these brass knuckles. Uh, then I suppose I'll bring, uh, I'll lend you, uh, some, I'll lend you some of mine. Ah, perfect. Thank you, good sir. And what is your name? <laughs> uh, my name is Nickus. Uh, pleased to meet you, Nickus. My name is Raga. It is good to meet you, Raga. <clears throat> May our hunt be fruitful. And he he turns to uh to walk away. Stubsy. Yes. Feeling comfy? Yeah. Alright. My fan on. The uh the doctor uh finishes his work for the day. <coughs> And uh, gets up to leave. Uh, we've stabilized his infection, but it is, uh, it's not clearing up. I, I think I'll have to come back again tomorrow. Mm. Hey, good doctor, what are we at in terms of uh, guilt for today's services? Uh, today I will uh, only charge you uh, 50. Um, tomorrow I'm going to bring a bit more uh, powerful uh, drugs and... Uh, that will probably run about 75 or so. That seems fair, and I'll reach into my guilt purse. Give sure. him some. Oh. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, I'll be back around uh, early afternoon tomorrow to uh, tomorrow. hopefully finish my job. <laughs> much obliged, Doctor. Much obliged. Let's see him on his way. Yeah. And then you're going to go back to the... Uh, the church. At least he's not a nosy motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Huh? Alright. So what do you want to do at the church? Um... Um... I guess I'll, uh... do the same thing I did yesterday. Go up to the skull thing and okay. pray. And uh, after you're done uh, <coughs> with your prayer, uh, again the your one of the brothers uh, greets you as you uh, you get up. Welcome this back. Is, hmm? is this a different one or the same? No, it's the same guy. Oh, same guy. Ah, oh, brother, it is good to see you again. Yes, and it is good to see you as well. I uh. I'm taking care of um, Shane, the uh, the farmhand from Delirian Farm that uh, recently um, lost his arm. Oh, that is that is most benevolent of you. It is the least I I, I could do. I've I've come into a bit of um, fortune on my travels. I'm always looking to help those uh, in dire need. Um, as I heard from the, the sisters that he uh, had an infection and needed uh, some immediate uh, attention for the uh, recent limb that he lost. Yes, it was, uh, it was a terrible thing to, uh, to happen to him. Yes. Um, but uh, he seems to be stable, and uh, the, the local doctor will come... Uh, him back and administer some more uh, help to him. Um, uh, D 
Do you need uh, more help with your uh, followers here? Uh, yes, anything that you can do would, would greatly help us. Um, where do you need the most help today, brother? Um, well, the kitchens are always in need of work. Um, other than that, we are doing some repairs to the, uh, to the roof of the, the church. We have a few rough holes, and I've heard that there is a, a storm coming in soon. Hmm. Um... Um, I'll see what I can do with the roof, but I, I'm perhaps more suited in the, the kitchen. Ah, oh, well, wherever you think your talents are best. Um, your help is more than generous enough. Um, in that case, then, I, I think I, I, I will help the, uh, the nuns with, uh, today's, uh, meals. Ah, very good. And he, uh, <coughs> he kind of, like, you know, gestures over towards them. Then, you make uh, your way back into the kitchen. Like, uh, it's like afternoon or something? Yes, it's just afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good afternoon, sisters. I, I've, I've come back to help again. Ah, oh, brother. Back to help with the, uh, the cooking. Uh, the cooking, the serving, um... Whatever I can do to help. Uh, excellent. We are we are preparing food for the uh, the lunch. Uh, if you would would like to help us with that. Oh, sure. Did you need help with the cooking or serving part of the food? Uh, right now the uh, preparation and cooking. Preparation. Okay. Um, let me assist you. Oh, that's gonna be yummy. <laughs> So yummy. Oh yeah. You rolled a 97. <laughs> You're cooking jams. I had to get a had to roll the 38 for that to uh pay off. Really good food. Yeah. <laughs> Could happen. Yeah. Uh and you uh you kind of just dice everything all together and just mash it up and throw it in. Uh as you're moving to uh put the the pot on the burner, it kind of knocks against the cupboard. And uh, uh, some uh, dust and mildew gets into it that you don't see. Oh, mm. yummy! It'll it'll boil out. You uh, you, you set it on the burner and and uh, start letting it, and you bring it up to a boil. Mm. So Nihilus, what are you up to now? That you have a hour before you need to be back in the uh, town square. Um, I'm just gonna kind of walk around and familiarize my, familiarize myself with the area. Okay. Um, you see a, you find a small tavern and, uh, a couple little shops. Um, you quickly find the hierarchy of the huts, uh, the living quarters, basically. Uh, go from, in the very center is the, the mayor or chief <clears throat> hut, and then from there outward shows the, the rank, basically, of the people living there. Okay. The further out you get, the lower the rank you are. Right. Okay, uh, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for an hour, is just kinda yeah. walk around and then meet him back in the town center. Stubsy, is there anything else that you're gonna do? Just keep uh, helping him out? Yeah, just help him out for a while. Very good. Very good, sir. Uh, yeah, so you you help serve the uh, the people that come in. You notice that the, you notice a couple of similar faces uh, from last night. Mm. Nihilus, you're uh, walking back from the uh, the outer hut area. Uh, can you roll a perception check? <gasps> I thought I wasn't supposed to do these anymore. Perception. Roll the 93. <clears throat> um, you feel something kind of sweep up behind you, and uh, in an instant, there is a uh, 
a small dagger pointed into the the small of your back. Oh, good. It's Mercutio, isn't it? <laughs> Far more. <laughs> oh God, damn it! <laughs> no, um, you uh, a gruff voice from behind you uh, calls out. Give me all your money. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> Give me all your money now or I'll or I'll fucking stab you. Um Okay, this is what how do I know how many there are? Or do I think it's just the one guy? Uh as far as you know, it's just the one guy, but you did get negative 6 degrees. <laughs> That's true. Um would this be a dodge roll to get out of this, or...? It's an agility test. Okay. I don't even know if you can make it, though, so give me a second, because I'm currently making a combat area. Because what I'm just thinking is spin around and um, use disarm, take his knife from him. I need to look up that. Though, what page is that going to be on? This arm is on 114. In douche. Yeah, here it is. Knock your opponent's weapons from their hand when engage the opponent wielding a melee weapon. Yay! Dodge is listed as basic comma combat, so I think this is a no, unless you would like to initiate combat. No, I'm gonna try and disarm him. Um, hold on. Cuz you're currently under surprise, cuz you don't ever, like, you can't initiate combat. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, but you don't get the first, like, he basically automatically gets a hit. Cuz you didn't. You weren't aware of him. Like, he's got a knife in your fucking back. And you don't have any armor, so... Yeah. But Ish. I am Nihilus. You are. Yeah. So, give me one second. Damage. No. 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 It's still no. Where is it? There we are. Unaware targets... All right. Pretty good. All right. Uh, so what do you want to do? Um, initiate combat. <laughs> okay. Well then. Nailus is here. Well, here all. Oh, good. There's three. Oh god, I forgot to do the screen for this. Oh god, hold on. Oh well, we're gonna have to take a break really soon, anyways. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Now we're gonna do that.